Whenever I share my political preferences, my PAP buddies will say, Oh, you must be an opposition supporter. My opposition buddies will say, Oh, you must be a PAP supporter. Oh, lao eh, how come like that one? My political preferences haven't changed for the past 10 odd years. I would like to see the PAP in power, but with a much, much reduced majority. Why still in power? Well, I think over the long term, the party has done a lot of good. Some of the smartest and nicest people I know either are or were PAP politicians. This includes people like Tarman and Giorgio, but also younger ones like Mariam Jaffa. When I was born, we lived in a one-room rental flat in Tabak. Mariam is a new candidate this election, and I think the sky's the limit for her. Now, of course, I'm biased. Mariam and her hubby are buddies of mine. But Mariam gives me hope that the PAP's recruitment system isn't completely broken. My name is Ivan Lim, and I work at Keppel Offshore and Marine. But why do I want the PAP's majority reduced? I think the biggest reason is that the party's utter dominance has led to arrogance and ignorance in the party. And I think the evidence is everywhere. The way Josephine Teo keeps deflecting blame for the dormitory crisis, she was actually politicking in Jalan Besar in early April, right before the dormitories blew up. She knew the workers are squeezed into very small spaces. But you know, nothing is ever her fault. It's all because of a smart virus. Nothing to ever say sorry about. I have not come across one single migrant worker himself that has demanded an apology. Or think about the arrogance with which Chan Chun Singh replied to Pritam Singh in Parliament when he asked a question about PMETs, something that affects all of us. For the number, the 60,000 PMET jobs, local PMET jobs, how many uh, were for Singaporeans and how many went to PRs? Pritam was just asking for basic data and instead of just providing it, Chan Chun Singh replied, What is the point behind the questions? It's a bit like the teacher who says, Hey class, any questions? And then when somebody asks something... Yeah. Hey! The more direct political implication of the supermajority is that it allows the PAP to change the constitution whenever it wants. It's done this more than 50 times since 1959. That's like one every year almost. The constitution is supposed to be a sacred document. The PAP famously changed the constitution in the 1980s to implement the GRC system, something that allows mediocre candidates to float into parliament on the coattails of people like Tarman. Same thing in 2017. Changed the constitution, reserved the presidency for Malays. That meant Tan Cheng Block. So let's look at exact numbers. There are 93 elected seats in parliament. If the PAP wins 47, it has a simple majority. It can form the government on its own, it can continue passing basic laws on its own and running Singapore as it has. What if it gets 62 seats of the 93? Ah, now it has a super majority, it can suka suka change the constitution whenever it wants. Last time the changes got Halima into power. What's next? That's why this is the sweet spot, PAP between 47 and 62 seats. So that means we need more than 31 opposition members in parliament. Yeah la, I'm not naive, I know. Only got six oppos now. How to go from six to 31, right? And somehow Mr. Lau Tia Kiang now, bye-bye, retiring. Oh. Ah yeah, Mr. Lau, going to miss you a lot. Huh? Enjoy your retirement. My Tia Ani Toy Bakute. So yes, I know it will take a long time to get there. And remember, vote share does not equate to seats. Because of our first-past-the-post system, a smaller vote share can translate into a much bigger proportion of seats. In the last election, the PAP got 70% of the votes and that translated into over 93% of the seats in parliament. Similarly, for the next election, if the PAP wants to win a simple majority of seats, 47 seats, all it needs is somewhere between 25 and 35% of the votes at a minimum. So don't get too worried if the PAP's vote share looks like it might come down. The party can safely still win the election, even still safely get their supermajority. There is a real possibility in this election of a PAP wipeout. They will win every single seat.
The reason is simple, we're in the middle of a pandemic. There are many Singaporeans who believe that the PAP has done an amazing job. Maybe they don't care that much about the dormitory workers. Maybe they don't realize that countries like New Zealand have actually done a much better job than us. Maybe they just got their cash handouts and they're happy and they're going to vote PAP. That's fine, that's their Tai Chi, it's their decision after all. What I simply want to say is the few of you out there actually listening to me, you have to realize this and you have to know why we must vote opposition in this election to counter this tide. Slowly push for change. And that leads to my final point. You know my bias. You know where I'm coming from with this video and subsequent ones. But please make up your own mind. Don't ever let anybody box you in. Singaporeans love binaries. You must be either PAP or OPPO, either Lee Kuan Yew or Mahathir, either Clear Singapore Bakute or Dark Clang Bakute. Why can't I have both Bakutes? No, no, no. You can show love to both. It's okay to say I like Tharman and I like Paul Tambaya. It's okay to say I want Heng Sui Kiat as my Prime Minister, but I also want Jameis Lim of the Workers' Party in Parliament to challenge him on economic issues. What we're trying to deny them is a blank cheque. It's okay to say I like Halima as a person, but I hate the way she got elected. It's good to entertain contradictory thoughts. Maybe you watch this entire series of mine and at the end of it, come to the complete opposite conclusion. Vote PAP. That's totally fine. Let's meet after the election and drink kopi. Singapore is a very diverse place. You're an individual. Develop your own unique view and be proud of it. Okay, Bucky. Okay, Bucky is anytime. Okay, okay, Bucky. Chocolate. Then stop, Betty. Hey, but this one last time one, no? Now also got matcha. Now also got cookies and cream. Now also got special blueberry flavor. Okay, Which one you like, huh?